All the natural world, when it was in its making, in its creation, was representing who we are. We carry clans that are of the natural world. Star, the sun is a clan. Some of the animals around us are clans. Some of the plants are clans. So we carry that on as family names, as family relations. So we're always connected. So you cannot take us away from this, and nor can we also just walk away. Episodes consists of exploring the outdoors and climbing mountains as I'm doing right now not many of us know the cultural significance that each one holds on this spirit of Nevada episode I'm gonna be meeting two individuals who are dedicated to making a Vikwame a national monument if it does end up being a national monument it would be our fourth one and this land is very sacred and it holds a dear spot in the hearts of our Native Americans. We took this road here. And just a little history. The reason why we wanted to work on the monument is that this area really doesn't have permanent protection. This crosshatch area is part of the area of critical environmental concern, but you notice that key sections of that are just BLM public lands. They have no restrictions whatsoever. So right here is BLM? Yeah, all, lands. no, okay. yeah. It's all BLM land, but this has no restrictions. It's, and this was the area that was subject to the Crescent Peak Wind Project. This was, of all the years I've been working in public lands, this is probably the worst project I've ever seen. Oh, wow. So Just you can imagine, so you can imagine all the way down here and all the way up past the walk, past where you turn for the Walking Box yes. Ranch, that was all going to be wind development. So that entire 22 miles of ridge lines would be covered with a, a, over 200 uh, uh, windmills. Each about five to six hundred feet. That's what feet. they wanted to put on the land. Yeah, oh. and not only that, they would have had construct ninety-six miles of new road, thirty-six feet wide. Now notice this: this piece is twenty feet wide. Okay. And yeah. Notice roads, ninety-five miles of road all through that exact area you just travel with. 36 feet wide. It would have trashed the entire area. That's what I was thinking. All the natural The integrity of the walking the box ranch. Trees. This has uh, some of the richest ecology we have anywhere in the western U.S. This is part of the uh, East Mojave Desert. And you notice uh, here the California border is about three miles up the road. The Castle Mountains, Castle Peaks, and oh, the distance that way Girl, are actually in. You, they act, those mountains right there, actually, they look yeah, like castles. They're in the, uh, the, the uh, Mojave National Preserve, the Castle Mountains National Monument. So, And there's another national monument that right we're trying here. to preserve, here's, correct? Here's the California line. Okay. You can see in California, they protected this ecosystem. They got the Mojave National Preserve, Castle Mountains National Monument, the Mojave Trails. Nothing's been done on the Nevada side. Similar or even better um, habitat and such. And, this and is much more important from a cultural standpoint. So for those that are watching right now and that are not familiar with all this that's been yes. happening, it's called the Avikwame Proposal, correct? Avikwame National Monument. And tell me a little about the about those people and why it's so important to us Nevadans to 
be a part of this and make sure that they do not change the land and preserve it and keep yeah. our history. And we can talk about the ecological values later, but this the ecological values are incredibly important, but equally important and maybe even more important are the cultural resources. This is kind of like a crossroads of the American West. Everything that happened in the Western expansion happened on this landscape, all the way back from the Mojave Trail, which is where the native people for years traded all the way to the West Coast, to the Chumash Indians. They would trade along this Mojave Road. And then, of course, over time became uh, a place on which the, the Western expansion moved. The people that were moving west in wagon trains and military built a section of forts along the Mojave Road. So that's in the southern part of the monument. Then you had the Garces Expedition, which was the first Europeans or the first non-native uh, Indian people to ever visit uh, Nevada wow. were in uh, along that same area of the Mojave Trail. So it's not only the mountain, it's an entire landscape. People forget that that it's not just the mountain. This whole is part of their life ways, part of their their way of living today. They gather their sacred uh, medicines on these lands and... Uh, Tell me your role in this project. I'm kind of in uh, I would say leading the charge and ready to turn it over to others, but you know, uh, since I have such an affiliation with uh, this landscape uh, from back from those days we were consulting, and as I said, they didn't want to put a boundary, and so, but we had to to get it thing. But it was kind of a, an agreement, an informal agreement that 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 issue wasn't. Uh, gone that at some appropriate time that we'd revisit that issue and try and protect the rest of this landscape and so I've carried that in my heart for uh, all these years. It's all those around us, and it's the shoulders we, we stand on for those who, you know, make this effort, you know, begin, continue. And so, in this generation, and while my time is here, do what we can to make this move forward in great giving Spirit Mountain of Ikwame that protection it needs. They, they did that early on, and we need to continue that. And so the future will look better for those that come, that they won't have to struggle with this. But if we have partners and those out there listening and willing to support, that, that makes us all, let's move forward in that same direction. Well, I'm grateful for you, and I'm thankful that Stephanie put the introduction between us both, because I think in my busy life, mm -hmm. I needed that reminder. You know, we get to film in all these wonderful, beautiful places that I didn't even know existed until the show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But to be able to hear you and say, listen to, listen to the birds, listen to the mountains, draw energy from the earth when you feel like you can't go. And I needed that reminder, so Good. I'm grateful for you. Good. I'm thankful that you're a part of this movement and that we could be connected in a way that would hopefully, through God and through the power of all of our voices, be able to make this a national monument here in Absolutely, absolutely. Sounds very good. <laughs>
So thank you. Wow. All right. That's it. That's wow. <laughs> I have been to so many amazing places across Nevada and this place is very special to me because I just feel that it brings so much history to Nevada from the Native Americans believing that this is where their, all their tribes became one and you know in Vegas everything is torn down they're all about tearing down old things and building new things and nature is one thing that's when it's torn down can't be rebuilt or to a limit it can only be secured back to what it used to be just like those Moapa Dace that I featured in one of our other videos These little creatures we took over their land their habitat their ecosystem and it took years to try and build it up to where it used to be back in the 1800s and so I'm asking all of you who are watching now if you feel that our nature provides a very significant role in all of our ecosystems and you want to preserve this land, please visit spiritmountain.org, spiritmountain.org and sign the petition that helps preserve and making this place a national monument. I'm Samantha Chihan, but you can call me Sam with Spirit of Nevada. Brought to you by the Richard Harris Law Firm.